Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a really cool electric intro animation. It's essentially the same as my intro which you saw in the beginning, but I don't really mind showing you how to do it so I thought I'd make this tutorial. The good thing about this tutorial is that it doesn't require any third party plugins except to create this shine effect. This plugin is called Trap Code Shine. However, this is just a small detail, so even if you don't have this plugin, the result should be pretty cool and you should be able to follow the tutorial just fine. The animation consists of three layers. First, there's sort of like an outline layer. Then, there's a new layer with an electricity effect. And on top of that, there's just normal looking text. All layers are animated strokes with different effects. Now we're gonna get started. First of all, create a new composition. This will be our main comp, so we'll call it main. These days my videos are 1920 by 1080 pixels, so that's what I'll use as my width and height. I'll leave the frame rate at 25 and set the duration to 10 seconds. When you have created your comp, add your text and place it in the middle. You can enable title action safe in order to be more precise. I'm using a royalty free font that I can link in the description. I'll set the color to white and the size to around 270 to 280. When you have your text, right click and go to create masks from text. This will convert the text into masks. The reason why we're doing this is because you can only apply a stroke to a path, you can't apply it directly to text. If you're working with a logo and not with text, you can go to Layer and Auto Trace. The result will not be 100% precise, which is why I recommend using text instead of a logo. It did work for my logo, but that's because it's a fairly simple logo and very minimalistic but you'll probably get the best result if you use text. If the path is outlined, you can click this icon to hide it. The outline can help if you're working on your path, but in this case it'll get in the way. Now go to Effect, Generate, and Stroke. Make sure that the stroke is applied to all masks, otherwise only the first letter will be affected. Then. Uncheck Stroke Sequentially. Set the color to a nice electric blue. You can leave the brush size at 2. Change the hardness to 100%. And finally, change the paint style to on transparent. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna animate the start value and the end value. We'll start with the end value. Move the time indicator to 1 second. Change the end value to 0, percent, and add a keyframe. Then, move forward 2 seconds, so that the time indicator is at the 3 second mark. Change the end value to 100%. Now, you'll have a simple animation like this. We're also going to animate the start value, so that the stroke will disappear. To do that, go to the 2 second mark, and make sure that the start value is set to 0%, then add a keyframe. Then, move forward 2 seconds so that the time indicator is on the 4 second mark. Change the start value to 100%. Now your animation should look like this. Now, lower the opacity of the stroke to 20%. The reason why we didn't do this earlier is because it makes the stroke hard to see, and we wanted to be able to see it when we added the animation. Finally, change the mode of the text to add. If you can't see the mode menu, click on toggle switches and modes button at the bottom. Now duplicate the layer 4 times so that you have 5 copies in total. You can duplicate a layer by pressing Command or Control D on your keyboard. We are going to offset each layer by around a quarter of a second, starting from the bottom. Do this by simply clicking and dragging each layer on the timeline. The timeline should almost look like a staircase, 
and the bottom step should start at 0 seconds and the top one should start at 1 second. Your animation should now look like this. By lowering the opacity of the stroke and offsetting each one, we have made sort of like a gradient which looks really cool. Now select every layer and go to pre-compose. You can call it glass. This is because we're going to apply an effect on this comp called CC Glass. Doing this is going to create a new composition consisting of the strokes that we just made. Now select the glass comp and go to Effect, Stylize, CC Glass. Open the surface menu and change the softness to 10. Leave the rest as it is. Your strokes should now look like this. And this will be the bottom layer of the three layers that make up this intro like I said in the beginning. Now we're going to add the electricity effect. Go to your project menu. If it has disappeared, which it does for me sometimes, press command or control 0 on your keyboard. Then select the glass comp and duplicate it by pressing command or control D. The reason why we are duplicating it here and not down by the timeline is because duplicating a comp down where the timeline is will only create another instance of the same comp. It won't actually create a new composition. You can name the copy Electricity. Double click it to open up the contents. Now select every mask and go to the effects tab. Change the brush size to 1 and the opacity to 30%. We want the electricity to be a little thinner and a little bit more visible. Now go back to the main comp. Drag and drop the new electricity comp into the main comp and put it above the glass comp. You can hide the glass composition for now. Now go to Effect, Distort and Turbulent Displays. Set the amount to 200 and the size to 2. This will create tiny swirls as you can see. We're also going to animate the evolution. This will make these swirls move a little bit. Move the time indicator to somewhere before the animation has started, so between 0 and 1 second. Add a keyframe. Then move to somewhere after the animation has ended, so maybe at around 5 seconds. Change the evolution to around 5. Now you can see that the turbulent displays has been animated. Now go back to the project tab. Duplicate the glass comp again, not the electricity comp. You can change the name to normal. This is because this layer is not going to have any type of effect, it'll just be normal text. Then double click it to open it up. What you want to do now is to deactivate the start animation of the stroke. This is because we don't want the stroke to disappear after it has appeared. So to do that, go to each layer and click on the keyframe button next to the start value. Also change the start value to 0. You have to do this on all layers individually, you can't do it on all layers at once. When you're done, your animation should look like this. Go back to the main comp and import the normal comp that we just created. Make sure that they are all visible and that the glass comp is on the bottom that the normal comp is on the top and that the electricity comp is in the middle. To complete the animation, we're going to offset these comps a little bit. We want the glass comp to start at 0 seconds, but we want the electricity comp to come in shortly after. So move the electricity comp around a third of a second. Then move the normal comp to the 1 second mark. Your animation should now look like this. What you can do now is to add an adjustment layer. Then go to Effect, Stylize and Glow. Leave the settings as they are. If you want to really make the colors pop, you can select every comp, not the adjustment layer, and duplicate them by pressing Command or Control D. It should now look like this. If you have Trap Code Shine, 
you can select the adjustment layer and go to Effect, Track Code, and Shine. Set the ray length to 10, the boost light to 30, the colorize to electric, and finally the transfer mode to add. If you look at my intro, you can see that the animation is reversed at the end. To do this, select all the comps and pre-compose them. Then duplicate the new comp. You can call the copy reverse. Then hide the first comp. Now click on the reverse comp and go to time and enable time remapping. Go to before the animation starts and add a keyframe. And now go to after the animation has ended and add another keyframe. Then move that keyframe closer to the first keyframe so that the time between them is around 1.5 seconds. Then right click on the reverse comp again and go to time and then time reverse layer. Now the animation should be reversed. However, we only want the reverse animation to show at the end. So go to where the reverse animation starts or where you added the keyframe. Then press shift command D or shift control D. This will duplicate and cut the comp where the time indicator is. Delete the bottom one. Without moving the time indicator, go to the other comp, the one that's not reversed and enable it. Then press shift command D or shift control D again. But this time you want to delete the top one and not the bottom one. Now, the ending of the animation should be a reversed version of the beginning of the animation. Now you have completed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will try to help you. But other than that, this was my first ever After Effects tutorial. Please leave a like if you found it helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.